Okay, we're gonna launch a rocket today. Things are looking fine. And three, two, one, and liftoff of the Delta II rocket with a classified payload. Everything is going good. Fuel is nominal. Trajectory nominal. Just remember. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh, it's raining down everywhere! Oh, run for your lives! Oh my god! Ah! Hey, what's up? Welcome to another Ask Mike, and today I'm going to be taking uh, some YouTube questions. So let's start off with a video response from Robert Balrath. Hi, Mike. Uh, I've got a controversial question to ask you this time out, and it's based on uh, Project Orion, um, the true story of the atomic spaceship. I'm not so sure we don't have in the U.S. military, the U.S. Air Force, the pulse detonation type spacecraft that uses small atomic pellets or little mini nukes which aren't banned by any treaty we have with the Soviet Union or now Russia um, and I'm just wondering what your thoughts on this so uh, do you think that we have some technology we could use to get to Mars get to the moon and it's a military secret and if so should our manned space program be given back to the US Air Force so we can get where we need to go because I don't believe they're sharing these secrets with NASA. My question to you this time. Thanks. Hmm. Well, I know what you're talking about with the whole Orion and the nuclear pulse detonation for the engines. The problem with that whole thing is that you would need a lot of heavy shielding to protect the payload or the passengers on board the spacecraft. And it, the amount of money that it would take to build this thing is just ridiculous. It's, it's it's so massive. I mean, what I think when it comes to the military, you know, keeping secrets from us and from NASA and stuff like that, I think it's more likely that they have other stuff out there like the Aurora or Black Swift or Venture Star or even some sort of Hanabu type flying saucer anti-gravity sort of stuff. I think that if they are keeping secrets from us, that it's much more likely that they have some sort of more advanced system uh, than the Orion. Now, uh, if you want to look a little bit more into nuclear development that we did do, uh, check out the uh, Rover program and the NERVA program that were in the early 60s. In fact, uh, Kennedy's like original speech talks about that, but I won't get onto that. Moving on. This next question comes from the YouTube user Mr. Theck, and he has to say, do you know if the lunar missions are still going on? Now, if by lunar missions you mean the Apollo missions, no. <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't, I don't mean to insult you or anything like that. What is going on is uh, a few years ago they launched the Lunar Reconnaissance Orbiter, and that is still orbiting the moon, taking awesome pictures and taking lots of maps and stuff like that, or making maps. And there's also the Twin Grail spacecraft, which are currently orbiting around the moon. And then recently, the Chinese Chang'e 2 spacecraft just left orbit around the moon to go hit up a Lagrange point and do some interesting science there and just see if they even can do it. Now, in the future, there's going to be the Google Lunar X Prize, and there's lots of teams involved with that, and they're going to be landing robots onto the moon and completing a couple of objectives to win the prize money for this whole contest. And uh, there's lots of teams, and I won't get into what all of them are right Right now, but probably the most popular ones are Astrobotic Technology and Moon Express. Um, there's some other ones that I think are really interesting, but like I said, I'll get more into that a little bit later and give a, a full video dedicated just to the Google Lunar X Prize. In the future, India is going to be launching their Chandrayaan-3 spacecraft, which is going to be orbiting the moon and possibly even have a lander on board. And then the Chinese are going to have their Chang'e-3 spacecraft, which is, they're hopefully going to have a, a lander on board and possibly even a rover. And then uh, Russia, due to their failed uh, Phobos grunt mission, is probably going to be doing some uh, lunar missions. And there's the Luna Glob mission, the Lunar Grunt mission, and the Luna Resource uh, uh, mission as well. And uh, I think I need to give 
Russia's whole idea is their own dedicated video as well. So I hope that answers your question, Mr. Thek. And uh, thank you, Robert Valraff, for sending me another video response. I always love video responses, so any of you guys are more than welcome to send me some, and I will include it in my next Ask Mike. And uh, please, you know, ask me any questions here on YouTube. You can uh, ask me any questions on Facebook, link to below to my profile. You can also add me on uh, Google Plus and add me to your circle. And I'm on Twitter as well. I'll put links for all those and ask me any questions on there and I will answer them. So don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. See y'all next time.